Slocum from Cisco. We're here at the APCO show showing IPIX 4.5. So Beverly, why don't you give us a little uh, demonstration of some of the uh, P25 interoperability features. The P25 features are new in this release. It's the release 4.5. And so what we're able to do is to provide uh, the full P25 feature set both on a proxy basis or on a native. So we're able to talk to remote um, ISSI gateways anywhere in the world because that's the power of the IP network. And so up until this time, P25 networks have been proprietary, so this is the first uh, council interoperability between one council vendor and another council vendor. So can you show us uh, what that means? A, a demo? What that means is our our P25 gateway is actually talking to the Ethertag gateway and a couple of radios here that are P25 radios. So um, I can go ahead and get the radio and do a transmission. So here what we're showing is a talk group one. You can see the council ID. Show it again, Beverly. Radio check. Radio check. And you can see the uh, P25 uh, talk, caller ID coming through. And then uh, we also want to show it from a council to council interface. So well, let's come over here, Uday. Follow me to a Z-Tron council. You want to key up the uh, council here. So, so this is a, another P25 council. And you basically uh, connect the handset, select the talk room. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. And this is a uh, council to council. Council to Council uh, radio interoperability. Is there any other uh, features that we want to show here? Uh, there's also supplemental features. So as part of the P25, you'll get a uh, what's called supplemental features. Uday, if you can zoom in on the, and that's the uh, remote radio monitor, emergency calls. What else do we get in there? We have the inhibit. We have the. Uh, Uninhibit, so if your radio is stuck in a broadcast mode, we can pretty much turn that radio off and bring it back online when the problem is resolved. We can do uh, unit to unit calls, we can do uh, calls to a group or a private call from the dispatch console to a radio in the field. So you can go ahead and select an individual radio to do that that conversation and it can be encrypted from end to end, from the dispatch console, console to the radio itself. So besides the P25 radio interoperability features, what unique uh, things does IPIX bring to the market? What, what is IPIX known for and uh, what are the Cisco uh, advantages? So including uh, the P25 radio interoperability, we can also, in the same system, interoperate with any radio, whether it be analog, whether it be trunk, whether it be um, UHF, VHF, what have you, including the P25. We can also do uh, push to talk with any telephone device. It could be your home phone, it could be a paid phone, it could be a mobile radio. All those different telephone types are brought into a radio channel on a push to talk basis so you never have a hot mic. So, so this is a unified communication. Uh, first responder, somehow the radio system goes down, they can dial in using a plain old phone into the IPEC system? Absolutely. So they can call into the server, authenticate, and the channels that they're associated with will be available to them, and they can, they can select a talk group to join and, and transmit from the telephone. So one uh, thing that customers ask a lot is, can I use my mobile device to also talk on IPIX? You can use your mobile device. You can use it as just a basic push to talk device by dialing in or, or being patented into a radio channel. But also, we have a mobile client, which you are able to do um, on Wi-Fi, do a push to talk radio communication on a, a uh, incident virtual talk group. You're able to also share uh, video feeds, uh, live video, we're also able to share pictures, photos, floor plans between responders in the field and the dispatch. So some people will say a, a picture says a thousand words. You're saying if I'm a first responder, I can take my iPhone, take a picture of the incident or a movie and upload it to a dispatcher? Absolutely. We can also incorporate uh, YouTube videos. Sometimes in incidents that, re 
that are uh, spectacular, like a, a wildfire or a building explosion. Uh, there's pictures on, and videos on YouTube before first responders even get to the scene. This way we can improve situational awareness by providing those YouTube videos to mobile clients or the dispatch console itself. So we talked about the radio interoperability, uh, including the P25, as we're showing here with the truck to ISSI Gateway. We've talked about the any-to-any -any communication. We've talked about the video collaboration. What other things does IPIX uh, bring to the table? IPIX also integrates with uh, the Cisco Unified Communications. So we can bring in um, telephone for radio to telephone patching. We also have a IPIX client for the IP telephone where you can log in to, your, to IPIX, authenticate, and be able to do on a push to talk basis join any radio channel that you're associated with. In addition to that, we can send notifications out for people who need to join a, a talk group by sending them a text message, an email, or even a voice message to, that instructs them to, to join a talk group in case of a, a certain event. So you have, uh, you're mentioning incident management as well as policies? Yes. Okay, so you can invoke a policy from a Cisco phone or by dialing into the IPIC server and let's, let's say an earthquake happens, you can invoke that policy to bring all these users into the same virtual talk group? Absolutely, and your virtual talk group can be created without radio resources, so users can dial in and talk on it or be patched into that talk group, and you don't have to tie up a radio resource. Very good. Well, this is uh, Beverly Slocum and Dan O'Malley uh, broadcasting from the Cisco uh, booth at the APCO trade show. Uh, thank you for joining us.